Paulette with Back to Basics Mom and S&P Gifts MN here. Say so today I want to welcome you to my kitchen sink and I've been wanting to do this video for a while now but I, I have the time and I just cleaned my sink and so I figured it was a good time to do it. So what I want to show you today is how to give the insides of your stainless steel tumblers a really good scrub. If you do not like I don't know if you can see down in there, um, but the inside of my cup is pretty stained. So um, I only really get that kind of staining when I drink tea. If I just drink coffee and wash my cup every day um, before I use it, it's not too bad. Um, but the tea really will stain. It doesn't affect the taste of my coffee. I can still drink water out of here as long as I've rinsed it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to wash it, and I'm going to say, I'm sorry if there's any background noise. My boy is outside mowing, and it's right outside my window. I'm going to see if I can show you, see if we can see him. I'm really proud of this kid. He's 14, and he's really been picking it up and helping out a lot outside. So that's my boy. He's been helping out a lot, especially as we get ready for this grad party. Um, my daughter, who the party's for, has been helping too, but she also works, um, you know, she's almost 18 and she has a job. So anyhow, that's enough about my kids. Back to the scrubbing of the cups. So what I use is baking soda. I make a paste out of baking soda. This is the cheap baking soda from Aldi. Um, and this was the one I use for cleaning. Um, it's anytime you get a sticky residue on anything like your stoneware, glasses, Pyrex, even if I have stains on my counter, because I don't know if you can see, but I have old 1970s white with gold flake countertop. Um, it's kind of funny because the house I grew up in had the exact same counters. Um, so yeah, so any kind of sponge will work if you just have one of these, you know, cheapo sponges. My favorite is my um, homemade scrubbies that my mom makes me or I have some of these um, these will work too so um, we will get started I'll probably just I'm gonna use one of these I don't even know if I got this at the dollar store I don't know where I got these um, they're like a sponge with microfiber on them so we'll probably use a combination of of these too so all you do is you're gonna get the inside wet get your sponge wet and this guys does take a little bit of elbow grease oh here comes my mower boy again so sorry if it's gonna get loud so I'm just gonna take we're gonna make a paste so um, just get that and then we're just we're gonna rub and rub and rub and it does take a bit. I mean, I can already see some of, see some of that brown smudge right there. That's already stuff coming out. Again, this is why I buy the cheapo baking soda from Aldi for my cleaning. I don't use it a lot for my baking anymore because I notice it does clump and my stuff will taste kind of weird sometimes. So I did go back to um, the good stuff. For cooking I can see I see brown spot this is a fresh new sponge and I already see brown and I already see on the inside of the rim the stains going away so uh, like I said I only really get the really bad staining if I drink tea which over the winter I was because I kind of got sick of coffee for a while I was drinking way too much coffee so I was having some tea and like I said it does take some elbow grease really and you might not get it back to new but pretty close oh look at that now look at all of that see we're getting there this is not something you need to do all the time just you know probably every couple of months sorry I'm trying to really get my hand down in there Whew. Let's give it a rinse. Okay. 
feel free to fast forward this if you don't want to watch me stand here and scrub the whole time. Now my hands are getting a little, I can even, oh sorry, I can even feel when I reach inside like where the staining is versus not. I'm going to use this scrubber because it's got a little bit more bite to it. Now I will tell you, I have noticed Oh, look at all that. See? That was all inside my cup. Now, I still drank water out of here and did not even notice the taste. Like my um, my Tupperware, my plastic coffee mug I used to use all the time, I could not drink water out of it because it always had a funny taste and the cup had a funny smell. And these, even with the staining, is totally fine. I mean, look at that. Wow, these scrubbies are the bomb. If you know anybody that makes these crocheted scrubbies out of tulle, get some, have them make them for you, because they are awesome. See, I don't know. Oh, see, you can kind of, when I angle it like that, you can see get a little bit more light from the window you can see how it's coming clean because you can okay see let's see like right sorry I'm trying to look at the camera and see what you guys are seeing but you can kind of see like I got that one speck that's what the whole cup looked like when I started or down at the bottom where the docker spots are. That's what the whole cup looked like when we started. So we are gonna keep on a scrubbing. So I'm gonna keep this in real time just cause I want you guys to see how long, you know, just, you know, exactly what it takes to do this for yourselves. Um, feel free to, like I said, fast forward to the end to see all the results. But I knew my cup was getting pretty stained and I just wanted to clean it up. I should go downstairs and grab you guys a brand new one so you can see a comparison to... Sorry, I'm trying to really get the bottom. Oh yeah. Now this is the original cup I made, so you will notice a few flaws, like right here. Oh, bump, the, bump the camera again. I had used Mod Podge on this one, which I don't intend to ever do again, so it got a little thick right there because I was trying to patch a spot that didn't have any. Wowzers. I should have taken like a before and after photo. But look at that. It is not perfect, but all, almost. Alright, let's give it a little bit one more time. Wow.
Now I've done this before, but still, so I kind of knew what to expect. But wow. All those brown spots are gone. So, um, if this one's not so stained, this is the cup I was using today. So this one, I pretty much, I have not had tea in it at all. So this one, this is what I do every morning. Because I usually finish at the end of the day and I don't wash it at the end of the day. But in the morning before I get my fresh cup, I know, it's kind of weird, but that's, you know, we're busy. So I just do this. In the morning, I give it a quick rinse like that. And then, so this is what my everyday cup looks like. Just doing that. And then, yeah, they look about the same. So now I'm going to show you quick. How to do the lids so um, if you have a toothbrush by your sink you can use that if you have one of these a handy dandy um, thing for cleaning out your straws you can use that too that is my go-to and the reason I like it is because I start away from the mouthpiece because I don't want to nick it up by chance you can use the end of a spoon end of a fork whatever you just want to be careful not to nick your rubber but this rubber comes off um, it actually comes off all the way and you can you know take it off and scrub it if you want which I do that occasionally but usually what I do is I just take this and I kind of run it under there like that because I have seen some nasty cup lids let me tell you but this channel underneath here gets really gross. Um, so I just do that a couple times. If you want to use a little bit of soap, you can use a little bit of soap. Usually just hot water is good enough. So I do that. And then I just Scrub around here, which that's kind of a no-brainer, and down under here. But um, also, you can use your scrubber or your toothbrush to, on the outside, just get in. There's a groove right there. I usually just do it under the hot water, just so you get all those nasties out of there. So pretty much on a daily basis, I just run it under, kind of, you know, give it a good rinse and about, you know, every couple of days, once a week, I'll um, do under the rubber. So that is how I spruce up my cup. You remember how stained that was at the beginning? Yeah, done. So that is all I have for you today. So hope you're having a great day. Find something crafty to do. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>